There's nothing worse than waiting in a long line for a ride only to have it break down when you're about to get on. What causes rides to experience mechanical downtime and what goes on behind the scenes? A roller coaster or amusement ride is a complex piece of mechanical, electrical, and other equipment. Each of these systems can cause a mechanical downtime, but it's important to realize that just because a ride goes down for a mechanical reason does not mean that it was unsafe. In fact, the opposite is true. As mentioned, mechanical downtime can be broken into several different categories. Let's start by looking at actual mechanical downtime. Though all of what we're talking about in this video is generally classified as mechanical downtime, actual mechanical downtime refers to some part of a ride physically breaking or failing in some way. A few examples of this include ride unit wheels going bad or a ride needing to be re-welded in an area. Generally, actual mechanical downtime is much rarer than electrical downtime, which we'll discuss in a moment. Rides and roller coasters are machines that experience a lot of wear and tear, cycling over and over thousands of times per day. As a result, they're inspected and worked on nearly constantly. A large amount of work goes on each night at major theme parks, with third shift mechanics poring over high wear areas of a ride and inspecting for damaged or high wear areas that need maintenance. One area of a ride that gets a lot of wear is the ride units themselves. These have a lot of moving parts between the restraints, wheel assemblies, axles, and more. Ride units are also subjected to the forces of a ride whenever they are in operation. This makes them prone to stress fractures and other damage associated with high use. This makes ride units a top focus for night maintenance crews. However, some problems may not appear during a nightly inspection and only become an issue during the operating day. A common example of this is bad wheels. Roller coaster wheels consist of a bearing on an axle supporting a metal inner wheel and a polyurethane outer wheel. Roller coaster wheels can spin at very high speeds when operating due to their small size. This leads to a lot of heat that can eventually cause the polyurethane to delaminate from the metal part of the wheel, or cause the polyurethane to chip and cause the wheel to become uneven. This causes a rougher ride experience for riders and can contribute to other problems if not addressed. For this reason, if ride operators notice a bad wheel, usually indicated by a strange noise noticed when a train is in motion, or by complaints of a rough ride, a ride will be closed so that that wheel can be replaced. Less common mechanical problems that can occur and need to be addressed during the operating day include track or structure welding being required due to a developing crack, a restraint device not working as intended, such as a seatbelt not buckling, or a pneumatic part of the ride developing a leak. All of these problems are usually caught by ride operators or maintenance personnel noticing them audibly or visually, though there is some technology on some rides to detect some of these problems and alert personnel automatically. Each of these problems are usually found and prevented during a nightly maintenance inspection, but some may only be noticed during the operating day causing mechanical downtime while they're addressed. Many of these problems cause long delays while they're addressed. The more common downtime classed as a mechanical downtime is an electrical or controls problem of some sort. A modern roller coaster or ride is covered in magnetic proximity sensors that do a variety of things, from detecting the position of a ride restraint to monitoring the position of ride units. If one of these sensors has a problem that sends the ride computer, known as a PLC, data that it's not expecting, or if it fails to send any data at all, the ride's computer will stop the ride at the next possible point and disallow dispatching another ride unit. This is even in cases where there's no actual problem present. When this happens, ride maintenance technicians will need to inspect the ride to ensure the problem being reported is not actually occurring. Then they may need to replace the faulty magnetic sensor or sensors involved. Once this is complete, the ride's control system can be reset and the ride can reopen after being cycled empty to confirm the problem is still not present. This type of situation accounts for the overwhelming majority of ride downtime experienced at a park. This type of problem is usually quick to fix and will only result in a few minutes of downtime. In any case, the downtime is occurring because the ride's control system is being given data that may indicate a problem. Instead of ignoring this small piece of bad data, the ride shuts down to give personnel a chance to ensure that everything is working as intended. Some rides also use sensors that are more prone to sending bad data than others. For example, some older roller coasters as well as some water rides use photo eyes as opposed to magnetic sensors. 
These work by giving one signal if something blocks a small laser emitted by the device from bouncing back into the device's sensor, and they give a different signal if that laser is able to return. These devices are usually used to detect the position of ride units, but they are also used on some rides to ensure that no one is getting too close to a moving ride unit. In any case, if something blocks a photo eye when a ride's computer is not expecting that photo eye to give data that it's blocked, the ride will shut down and revert to a fail-safe state, preventing future dispatches and holding ride units in a control area like a brake or lift hill. These are some of the most common reasons that rides experience mechanical downtime. Keep in mind that this is not by any means all-inclusive and different rides will have different problems. For example, Intamin hydraulic launch coasters are known for their excessive downtime. These rides experience a combination of common problems. Some electrical, such as the excessive number of magnetic proximity sensors along their layout, and some mechanical, such as problems with the hydraulic accumulators used for launching trains, and problems with the pneumatic brake fin raising and lowering devices. In any case, this video provides a general idea of why rides experience mechanical downtime. Keep in mind that downtime is not a bad thing. It's just a ride taking extra time to check that everything is safe for the next riders. Thanks for watching this video. What ride safety topic do you want to see covered next? See you next time.